Hello and welcome to Tor Abbey. We're in the Spanish barn. We've got a fantastic exhibition here of schools work where we launched a schools competition and it was really well received. We've got work from the five local schools to St Mag's Church. That is Ellicom Academy, Upton St James, Ilshan Academy and also um, Spires College and St Cuthbert Main. Really excited about the entry. So all the winners from that are exhibited in here as well as work from the Christian Creative Network. We've got 10 artists exhibiting and selling their work. And we've also got work from some amazing people who've been really brave from the living room at St Mag's where they are mostly dealing with issues of homelessness and addiction. So we're really happy and very privileged to show this work today. We've got lots of people coming in. We've got visitors as well. <laughs> so it's been fantastic. We've had 350 people through the door today just to come and look at the work, celebrate creativity with their children and just to be in this amazing atmosphere. So thank you to all those who came. Thank you for uh, encouraging it and sharing. So we're down in the school's competition end of our exhibition. We have got over 200, maybe 250 items of artwork that students have handed in across the five schools, Ellicom Academy, Ilsham Academy, Upton St James, St Cuthbert Main and the Spires College. They're the schools that were close to Upton where our work was based at St Mag's and they did us proud. They handed in so much beautiful work, inspirational work. We've got work from as young as four with this young man and all the way up to sixth form. We've got some incredible skill going on. But what's been fantastic is that many of the children who um, exhibited, entered, but maybe didn't even win, have come to see their artwork up in display because we've displayed everything. And it's been a real privilege to do that. Um, I just encourage anyone, if you have a competition that you could enter, go for it. Just go for it. Don't worry whether you'll win or not. Just have a go. So I'd like to say thank you to all those schools. Um, I'd like to encourage all those young people to keep going with their creativity. You don't have to do it in school. It's something you can do every day. And really just enjoy it, being creative. Enjoy spending time with each other and actually being creative, sharing ideas and get together just to be part of a bigger picture and join competitions. Thank you. Thank you for coming along. A massive thank you for just taking part, for all the children, for your entries. We have tried to put everybody's work up, whether you won a prize or not, because we want to celebrate creativity. We want to celebrate you. Here this morning. Oh, yeah, Ola, come on. Come and stand here, my darling. Okay, I'm going to put that in Right, Ola. Now, because you Ola did a painting that uh, moved me to tears and was better than anything I'd seen a student do. 
It's beautiful. It's this one on the end of a hand with a hospital band on. Read, read it. She's incredibly brave. So we haven't got a medal for Ola because Ola was so moved by the brief that she actually saw it that her younger siblings were doing it in their school and she said, I've got to enter this. I know exactly what I'm going to do. And she did it and she blew us all away. So we have a special consideration prize for Ola. And um, I just want to say thank you for trusting in us with your story. It's amazing. So here's your certificate, my darling. Here's your goodie bag. And here is your stuff. Well, welcome to the CCN Torquay artist section of our exhibition. We've got 10 amazing artists here, all of whom have invested their time and their money into putting into this exhibition. CCN is a, a national organisation and our main aim is to champion creativity in the body of Christ in all churches, all denominations, whatever anybody's genre is, whatever their sphere is, we can celebrate their creativity. Um, and we want to make sure that people are recognised for their creativity. Very often it gets a little bit used and abused as a volunteer thing, but actually it's fundamental and key to everything that we do in the church, being creative about how we get people in, how we engage with people, particularly children. Um, because actually God is the creator and we're made in his image. And if that's the case, then we need to champion this. And that's what we're doing here. So CCN Torquay meets every month at St. Mag's Church on the second Friday of the month. It's a free meeting. Membership is free. We're online. We're face to face. We have a national website, which is christiancreativenetwork.com. And we really would encourage anyone who does any kind of creative creativity, music, writing, art, crafting, get involved. Just be there, be in that mix. And I know that everyone who's been part of it has felt that it's in, it encouraged them, that it's enriched their experience, and it's just fantastic to meet with other people that are creative. So have a look around, and if you fancy coming along, you can contact us from the main website. Just go to sign up, and you can choose your branch. We have branches down in the southwest in Torquay, Tiverton, and Taunton. So whichever one's nearest for you. But have a look at the website, because they're national. of our amazing volunteers Ellie and Connor and I'm just going to talk to them a little bit about what it's been like to be part of this event. Hello! Hello! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason we're doing this is just to record um, something about how it feels to be part of something bigger yeah um, especially something that's involving so many different parts of the community so maybe you could take it in turns just to tell me What's been the b highlight for you? What's been the best bit this week? Ellie, go for it. I think, first of all, the best day has been um, starting to, because I was nervous at first. Yeah. Coming here and setting up and everything. And then got the hang of it. Yeah. And then got comfortable with it. And then started to enjoy it. So obviously today, because there's been kids around and everything, obviously I do the playgroup at St. Max Church. So, Having the kids here has also been a distraction for me. Um, meeting new people, having a conversation about my um, personal life yeah. to a couple people, and they've really like listened, and actually I've able to have like start a conversation with a couple of people as well. So, yeah. Really? No, that's yeah. fantastic. So actually. That's something that you wouldn't normally do no. on any other day. So having an opportunity like this to... Yes. And I didn't even know you were going to come and help. <laughs> so when you guys turned up, yeah. I was like, who are these people? Who are these people? But you've been 
completely instrumental and vital to the whole process of hanging it. It would have happened, but it wouldn't have happened in the speed that it did yeah. Yeah. or in the quality that it did without yeah. you guys helping. So thank you so much. Now, Connor, what about you? What do you think? How, what's your highlight of this week? I don't know, actually. I mean, I enjoyed the most part doing, putting the frames and everything. Yeah. So I was actually doing something. And, but today as well has been good. Yeah. Finally speaking to get my confidence up a bit as well, yeah. speaking to people. But then forgetting what they want for drink, but you know, that's <laughs> it you know, it's like, I can tell you again yeah. if they want to drink. So that's fine. it's been it's been good. It's just been helping me get my confidence up, mainly get my confidence because I was just a bit low. But yeah. throughout the week, it's been all right. And you've been here every day yeah. in the freezing cold, yeah. <laughs> every day, and you've engaged with people as soon as they've walked through the door yeah. and fed them and given them water and drink <laughs> some tea and coffee, and that's been yeah. amazing. It's just, so, do you guys think you've learnt a little bit more about the heritage, the history? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. How, what's been? What do you think? Which bit or work or part of it has helped you just understand a bit more about the heritage of the area? The Bible. The Bible, really? Yeah. Because yeah. we've um, picked one up, haven't we? Both the New Both Testament. Both of us, we picked yeah. one up and we started yeah. reading it and reading the um, prayers in it and just actually listening to people yeah. so like when they're praying or like because we do a prayer at the beginning so just like listening to you to learn how it all works That's has interested us so by us doing it as well it's helping with our anxiety because if we struggle dur during the day mm. it's like okay well i've got the bible on me i can just go and sit outside and just read it to sort of distract myself so i'm not in the chaos all the time mm. so it's just a bit you know it's ma it, it makes it manageable then that's so, yeah. amazing so part of that heritage with because it's about st mag's church yeah there's a reason why the churches are there the people who built the churches were there to do god's work and yeah. you know what jesus says is that it's to help the poor serve the poor serve people on the margins yeah. and i think that actually everything that we do with people coming in <laughs> everything that we do we have jesus at the center of it so I think if you've picked up, actually, that reading the Bible is going to help you understand why we're doing this whole yeah. thing. So we're not getting paid to do this, no. are we? No, no, of course not. So it's not a job like you're earning money. It feels like a career. Mm. But for you guys, you've you've got um, nearly 100 hours of volunteering <laughs> this week. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a huge I didn't amount. really know that much. It's gonna, by the end of this week, that's what it'll be. Yeah. And you know, you're going to get references from this. But it was about you saying yes. Yeah. When your dad asked you, when Simon asked you if you could come, yeah. it was about you saying, yeah, all right, might as well. Yeah, at first it would be like, I don't yeah. know. But then when we came in, it was like, actually, it's not too bad. I like this. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, it's been good. And you're integral. And we've had lots of comments yeah. from visitors saying, those young people are amazing. <laughs> because you are. You're amazing. And we really, it would not have been the same exhibition without you. Yeah, so but it's I all, just want to say it's, it's about, um, it's like you do it because obviously I said yes because I wanted something to do with myself. Yeah. And then you realise you've got something, but not, not only you realise you've actually done something that you didn't know you could do, you actually then realise you're helping other people as well. Absolutely. Because like maybe like some children are nervous mm. or shy, they can't make a conversation with someone mm. or an elderly person is by themselves looking around and you know just wants someone to talk to as well. You're helping them as well, so it's like that also gives you a good feeling because it's like you know you've helped someone else, not just yourself, in this short amount of time as well. So <laughs> it is, and you know, and that, that any nerves of talking to people, it doesn't mean they've completely gone away, no. but actually yeah. that will have changed in you yeah. that confidence. And what you start to realise is is that you're not on your own in how you're feeling. Yeah, mm. and actually that's and a lot of people suffer with anxiety and mm. depression yeah. and and mental health issues and there yeah. we've got a lot of people exhibiting who yeah. who go through that process yeah because like the church just help. help people like that it does help i mean it just makes sure people do realize that people are actually to help them not yeah. you know don't it's be scared no, not not judgment no. not judgment just to help. No. Well, I need you to know that we really loved you being here. We really appreciate you. And I'm going to say thank, a massive thank you. That's okay? Right, yeah. Well yeah, done. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, so we're going to pop over to St. Mag's Church now, St. Mary Magdalene's Church in Upton, Torquay. I'm going to show you some of the heritage of that building. It was built in the mid-1800s, the first Victorian church built in Torquay. It's really important that we show you this because actually it's, it's the inspiration for our application to the Heritage Fund for money to um, mend and restore the tower. And that's just phase one of the Inspire project at St. Mag's. Phase two will be moving into the interior, um, working on the plaster work and some of the carving to make sure and ensure that actually it lasts into the future. So we're going to go there now, have a look at that with um, Ed Wiener, who's one of our church members and is looking into the history. Um, and then we're, we'll see you in a moment. And welcome to St Mary Magdalene Church. Here you see the tower and we are going to be doing some work on the tower through the Inspire. We are having a project to uh, actually help the building. We've got to take out the, uh, the mortar between some of the stones because it has been put in with concrete and it needs to be a lime mortar. So that has to be raked out. We also have to uh, repair some of the bath stone and the bath stone has been affected by the weather over the years since this church was built in 1849 uh, and it's in serious need of uh, sort of repair and regeneration. So there's a lot of work to be done on the church and uh, as a part of the heritage team I'm involved in this work and we have six streams of work. We have the building which I've already discussed we have the art, which is linking the community to our heritage work. We have the website that is being developed for us, which will mean that information uh, about the, what's in our archives at the church and the heritage of the church will be available to a much wider audience. And we have heritage events that are being held every so often, which will bring the community into the church as well. We also have a Heritage Day where Unleashed Theatre will be doing a, a sort of little simple drama which will involve some of the characters that we have actually identified in the history of the church. And we also have a, an idea of a stream to redo the garden, redo the sort of the round, grounds around the church and the, and the churchyard uh, to make a, a lovely peaceful garden for people to come and just sit and enjoy and with flowers and uh, different things that will just touch people uh, and bring them sort of a peaceful uh, sort of time there. So there's a lot of work to be done and uh, we are only on the first uh, part of this. There is a, another uh, session that we need to do on the inside of the building as well. So the, the first amount of money that we are getting from the lottery fund is going to be uh, used in this way but we will need to apply for more because there is work to be done on the inside. As with most Victorian churches, uh, there is always work to be done. So I hope you liked your little tour around St. Mag's Church. Welcome back to the exhibition. Enjoy looking around further. I'm currently in the Spanish farm where we're having a home exhibition of paintings and photographs by all our community from St. Mag's and the surrounding area. A lot of these drawings and paintings photographs have been uh, done by homeless people and people in addiction and uh, myself who I was once homeless and in addiction with alcohol. I'm the subject of this one which was done by a very good friend of mine, Rob Sykes, who, who painted this in the living room, which is our community calf in St. Mary Mags, and as such was an inspiration for a lot of people to come into our community calf in St. Mags called the living room and telling their own stories through their pictures and photographs. Now, the living room's a very special place. It's where 
when I was homeless and that, I was introduced to the living room and through there and visiting the living room, getting to know people, having some great conversations, it's where I gave my life to Christ. And since then, my life has just gone up and up in the world. I met my wife in the church and got married. And it is just a fantastic place. And it's an inspiration, I think, to, for people to come, not be judged, have their conversations. And it's just growing, and it's growing in the community. And I think what they're doing is fantastic. And it is life-saving and changes lives. Well, hello, I'm here with my amazing friend Mel Taylor. Mel and I are both um, CCM branch leaders. Uh, Mel is the CCM branch leader of Taunton. And uh, we would just really love to encourage you to join a CCM branch or even maybe start a CCM branch in your area. So Mel, you've engaged with this exhibition. Yes, it is, has, has been wonderful. I've had so much fun. Um, just creating the work yes. in the first but thank you for allowing me <laughs> to be part of this exhibition um, and yeah it's been great I've sold a piece it's fantastic and a few cards so um, yeah it's been a really amazing opportunity I think what we've seen is the potential for engaging the community yeah. in CCN events mm -hmm. Um, engaging local schools particularly. Today we've had uh, I think around about 450 people come. Amazing. So not only look at Amazing. the schools competition but then they've come around and they've looked at the whole exhibition. Mm -hmm. I think the key is uh, from what I've learned from the last year and I know Josie Gamble who's our uh, director of CCN who started it with her friend Gemma. Um, the key thing is that people engage and people can't engage with something unless it actually exists. So mm -hmm. creating opportunity to infuse people, to engage with their creativity, um, that's really, really important. It takes a bit of imagination, it takes a lot of hard work, but we have seen this week that you get paid back more than that, um, just by this amazing feeling. God soaked into this wall, these walls this week, we started every day with prayer, and we are covered in prayer from other people, um, and so with the engagement, with just being here and allowing all these amazing creators to display their work, yeah. I think we've really seen people shine. Yeah, um, definitely. Anxiety to yeah. be. Sorry. I think one of the biggest ones for me has been um, with the homeless um, cafe. Um, some of the stories behind the pieces mm -hmm. are just incredible. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can look at a piece of artwork, but then when you hear the background, yeah, that has just really blown me away. Um, and so it's been such a you know, a blessing to be part it's of it. Blessing. It's been a blessing. And then this afternoon, just seeing a crowd of people, that was awesome. It's been um, fantastic. Yeah, so. And we wouldn't have been able to do it with the, without the work um, and the, the funding from the Heritage Fund linked with the funding from CCN. Um, CCN was the start of the idea and then it snowballed and it grew and it grew and it grew. But how fantastically it's grown. And so we've been completely inclusive. We've had people visit and say, oh, I'd love to be part of this. We said, bring your artwork down and we put it up. That's not diminishing anything, that's increasing. It's increasing the participation, mm -hmm. it's increasing the encouragement. And so I keep saying this word, but I want to encourage you in your creativity. I'd love to encourage people to just find out about CCN, find out about uh, maybe leading a branch in your area and actually you will, as soon as you find out on the website, christiancreativenetwork.com, you will see uh, from the pictures and from the testimonies that this is something that I think God's got a massive plan for. Yes. So I just encourage you. But thank you, Mel. Thank you for coming and being part. Right. Thank you for doing this thank video. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, thank you very much. We'll see you soon. Bye. Hi there, my name's Simon Livingston. I'm one of the volunteers here at uh, CCN Home Art Exhibition. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to share with you a little bit today about how I ended up becoming one of the volunteers here uh, and a little bit about my past, my life, about uh, addiction and my alcoholism, um, the very places I've been and jobs I've done and, and I, how, I, how I came to find the living room, um, which, which brought me to find art 
and eventually brought me to becoming a volunteer here. So, yeah, um, I had many addictions, various different drugs, uh, and also alcohol. Um, it was my release, um, my way to deal with life. When anything got difficult, my triggers, all of those sort of things rolled into one. I had a very complicated childhood. Lost my mum when I was 18 from cancer. I've uh, been in various mental health institutions. Um, but I always had a good ethic for work, so I used to cover myself well with working hard. And uh, I'm married, I've had children, and I've moved around the country a lot with my work. Um, but ever growing was my addiction and my alcoholism. And um, towards my 20s, and moving towards my late 20s, um, I became very successful in business. Um, so my coke addiction grew and my um, alcoholism was sort of fizzling away in the background for a while but slowly as I went on eventually the stresses of the job got too much for me and I started drinking and drinking more and my health deteriorated and I lost my business and my home and my family and going in towards my early 30s my addictions came up as well. I became very ill, I was hospitalised many times and eventually I had a stroke I was wheelchair bound for a while and then after getting some recovery from that I continued with my addictions and my alcoholism and to the point where um, I had nothing left in my life. I came down to Torquay um, to live with my brother and my sister-in-law who owned a nightclub and a pub, living on their sofa for a few months and my addictions and my alcoholism got so bad um, that it nearly killed me, I suffered with fits, collapsed and I was rushed into hospital and I was in a coma for four days um, and after waking up from that coma I was given the opportunity to take um, some recovery from my addictions and uh, I accepted help and uh, the National Trust as well and, um, and yeah I got, I got well, I got on my feet and I found a 12-step recovery program um, in Alcoholics Anonymous and um, that's where I sort of started finding my way forward um, sort of looking for God. I was, um, I was born into a Christian family. My, um, my own uncle's a vicar, just retired actually. And um, I fell out with God when I lost my mum from cancer. And I sort of didn't look back at Christianity from that point. I just sort of careered on with the path I was on back then. But being in a 12-step program and um, falling through the doors of, just towards the end of my dark drinking days, I found the living rooms and found a little bit of solace in there, people trying to help me and guide me and telling me that there was a way out and then going full circle once I did stop drinking and using and I got out of hospital and I started on the 12-step program. I, um, I found my way towards sort of looking for God and finding out what God was about so I found myself coming back to the church, using the living room, starting coming to Mary Max on a Sunday um, and starting to enjoy church again, talking to various people such as the vicar as well, and uh, get to know Sam and Joe, um, who's put this wonderful thing together. And um, moving on, I'm slowly becoming better myself. I'm um, looking for ways for me to help to get better, to improve my life. Uh, and, and some of those things have included um, art and also photography. So. Um, one of the things that was decided with the CCN and helping out with the living rooms is that they were going to put together some sort of art in the living room which has been really enjoyable, helping out with Joe in the living room, getting people interested in art, um, which is about the living rooms part of, of the gallery here. We've got various people who have done various bits of art who are still homeless or sick, disadvantaged people. Um, and it's a way for them to express themselves and sometimes open up and talk to people where normally they wouldn't talk to people at all, you know, maybe with social anxieties or, and other things such as like. And, and, and also produce a, my own piece of art. And as you can see, there's, there's many different people working away in the living room. The art is around here. There's myself doing a bit of work there, which is the piece that I produced here. And, gives a little bit of my testimony and information about myself and it's the same with all the other um, paintings and pieces of art. So we're rounding off our week at Tor Abbey in the Spanish Barn for our home exhibition. We have got so many different organisations linked together here with the Christian Creative Network, St Mag's Church, 
the Inspire project at St Mag's to mend the, the tower and for further development in that church, but also the Heritage Fund, who have given us part of their funding to be able to put this on, give our gifts, frame the work, and just allow us to meet in this amazing space. But we really thank Tor Abbey as well. They've believed in us for over a year, building towards this. Being in this amazing space has been fantastic. We've had nearly 700, maybe even over 700 visitors during the exhibition. I want to just say thank you to everyone who's encouraged this creativity. And we'll look forward to it maybe doing it again next year. Thanks very much. Bye.